up to go live, why won't it let me? What's this? Discard. Okay. <sighs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> why technology hates me so much. But I okay, figured it out. I just um, kind of shut off my phone and restarted. So I hope you guys are still with me because if not, I'll just do a live video by myself and you'll have it for later. So I don't know. I was on it. I was trying to get on at nine. I kept hitting live posts. It kept coming up with that fancy picture thing. And I was trying to type in the class, yoga, right? And then it just kept reverting back to like the weird picture thing with the word yoga and not going live. And I was like, oh, so anyway, <laughs> we're back. We're back. We're going to do a half hour from now and we'll get started. So this practice, and hopefully I'm not too frazzled now, um, will help you boost the immune system. And so as we're going through it, I will talk, I'm really going to feature five um, poses that will help you boost the immune system. We'll do more than that, but... I will explain those poses as we're in them and why they help to keep your um, keep your immune system strong and supported. So we'll get started like we always do. I have a bolster um, because my hips are tight. So if you have a, if your hips are tight and you want to grab a pillow or something, um, we're gonna start like we always do in um, Sukhasana, which is easy seated pose, and we're gonna be just breathing. So um, the yoga word for breathing is pranayama. Prana is like breath, but it goes a little deeper, like vi the vital force of life. Um, and as you know, you can go literally three weeks, wouldn't be fun, but you can go three weeks without food, about three days with absolutely no water because there's water in all, every food that you eat, even if it's a potato chip, there's a little bit of water in there. So anytime you're eating food, you're, you also get some water. But you can go about three days if you had nothing in your mouth without water, but literally about three minutes with zero air. So it's really one of the most important things we can be bringing into our body. So I will um, ring this and just sit up nice and tall and we'll start with breath. Exhale, pull the hands down. 
Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, and one more. So you know what? When, if you guys are stressed out being at home a lot, and exhale, not being able to be your friend, see your friends and do what you gotta do, take some deep breaths throughout the day. Help yourself get back into calm. Okay, the next pose, which we don't usually do it this way, but it's a, it's kind of a special class, almost like a workshop kind of a class. Um, it's called Half Lord of the Fly. So you know how we always sit in Z position? I got my right leg forward and my left leg behind me in like a Z. We're going to take this back leg and we're going to bring it past, just like we would in almost in before cow face pose. But we're going to keep the foot here and the knees point the ceiling. And then we're going to twist this way. Oh, I should have brought my car the other way. <laughs> so my right elbow will come up across past my left knee here. Ardha Matisse Vandasana. It's hard to say these yoga words. But anyway, half word of the fishes. All right, this is cool. The reason why this one helps support some immunity. Because in, um, in this seated spinal twist, we're actually helping our digestive system. And improper digestion causes toxins and waste to build up, which negatively affect your health and your immunity. All right, so basically, if you're if you don't, let's do the other side. If you don't go regularly, that's not good. <laughs> um, so let's pull it over. So this is actually helping support good digestion and um, getting your internal organs to kind of, your intestines to kind of work through and so that you can be more regular. Spinal twist gently compress and stimulate the stomach and the digestive organs to work more optimally. So reducing that toxin, those toxins and the waste, and getting rid of it continually, you're going to be healthier and you're going to build immunity. So that was the second one. Okay, we're going to come on our knees, and as we go through the, the class, I will tell you which of the five. So we've already done two of the five, but we'll lengthen that right leg out. Float the left hand up. So if you need to see me from the side, this is balancing cat. Let's grab that foot if you can and pop it up. And if you can't, it's okay. You can still be reaching back or you can be here. Reach up, nice. Let's switch to the other side. So balancing cat, opposite hand and leg float out. Really try to extend your um, spinal column out past your head. Then reaching and popping it up even more if you can, opening the chest. That feels good. Great job. Okay, we're going to push into downward facing dog. So tucking your toes under, bringing your heels back close to the floor. Don't worry if they don't make it there. Turning to the side here. Breathe. Let's walk the dog. So I've all this time off at home, I've been working like a downward dog. Just kidding. Working like a dog, I... Um, have so many ideas of things that I want to do, but my problem always is the more quote unquote free time I have, the more like stuff I put on myself. So I don't know if it's going to be possible to get it all to you. Roll, roll her down carefully. Inhale, exhale, come up into a cobra. Now you know, most of you should know me, so you can do cobra one, cobra two, cobra three. I went straight up today. I'm kind of excited to be with you guys today. Tuck your toes under, down, down, and lengthen. Walk that in. And then roll it up slow. Good. Head and chest are last to come up. I'm probably going to take a second while you guys roll your shoulders back, opening your chest to put my hair up so I don't look like a frumpy mess. I'm doing yoga with you. Okay. Utasana, standing forward fold. I love it for a couple of reasons. I always ask you to imagine... Any stress, tension, fear, or worry as you're reaching up. And then as you exhale, forward fold, you're letting go of that. You're letting go of what no longer serves you. Get rid of it. Even if it's just for this 30 minutes while you're in practice with me. Okay. As you stay here, you can bend the knees and push them straight. Try to bring your head a little bit closer. Inverted postures and forward bends. Bring pranayama, which is that breathe, that breath, and blood flow to the sinuses, which ease congestion. So when you have blood flowing into the sinuses, it helps that congestion. Sinus and mucous membranes are our body's 
first line of defense against infection. Sweep up into chair pose. Keeping the sinuses healthy can boost immune functioning. So getting rid of congestion and mucus and make sure you're expelling that will help you stay healthier and happier. Great job. Step back to warrior one. Oh, I might not even do any chat there. No, I gotta do at least a couple chat there. I guess, come on. It's me we're talking about. Hands come in. Open to warrior two, focus on your goals. Breathe, looking out past that middle finger. Flip and reverse warrior. Coming all the way down. Let's go into a plank. Okay, you can do crocodile or you can do chaturanga. I'm gonna go right to um, chaturanga today because we're not gonna spend a lot of time on sun salutations. So we lower, we hover. Can you do a couple more breaths here? I know it's a lot. And when you're ready, you're going to push forward into that back bend, either the cobra or the up dog. Exhale, down dog, lengthen. Beautiful. Walk it into that forward fold, uttasana, and roll it up slow. Good. One vertebrae at a time. Shoulders go back. We're going to repeat on the other side. So inhaling, lengthen. Exhale, chair. Put the weight in the heels, sit the booty back. Just notice, step back, left leg, warrior one. Nice, powerful, strong pose here. I love my warriors, hands come in. You are all my warriors, and I love all of you. And I'm not laughing because I'm being a jerk, I'm laughing because I really do. When I think about you guys, I smile, and I miss you terribly, but I'm trying to stay positive and productive. Reverse warrior. Coming all the way down into runner's lunge, step to plank, breathe, crocodile or chaturanga, ready, here we go, lower and hover, breathe, push yourself, when you're ready, push up, if you can do it in a couple more breaths, do it a couple more breaths and then rock it, up into the uh, up dog or cobra if you want to, tuck your toes under, down dog, lengthen, beautiful job. Alright, let's bend the knees slightly and float. Your feet on the outside of your hands and so that you can end up in garland. I know Cindy loves garland. <laughs> okay, good. Good job. Coming all the way up. This is your star pose. Just really imagine, even though it looks super simple, but you want to get the mindset of lengthening from your hips up and out and from your hips down. So your core is getting longer and your extremities are going out in all different kinds of directions, just like sunshine rays. Okay, next one for immunity is the wide-legged forward fold. So, we, and this, one, this one's going to be hard for me to say the um, Sanskrit word. It's prasarita padotanasana. That wasn't too bad. I did it. Okay. So, when we, we're going to go ahead and add some um, arms to it. Hands out like airplanes. Interlace your fingers, pull them up toward the ceiling. So can you feel how your chest, I'm just going to turn inside, got more expansive here. So in this pose, and especially when we're like this with our hands up, invites the chest to open and the lungs to clear. It can help you um, drain mild congestion in the chest. Inversions help us release, um, can't read my own writing. Release and let go of tension, stress, and worry. Feels amazing. Okay, softly bend the knees and come back up. So not only do inversions help the blood get moving in different ways to support immunity, but they help us get rid of stress and tension. Step back right, crescent moon. Which, if we hold on to stress and tension too long, damages our immune system. Our body does not like to function when it's not happy and healthy. Just push up. So this is called three-point balance. So if you're ready for this, and this can be a little bit challenging, okay? Take the right hand, come up to the ceiling, and then also really purposefully try to open the chest and hip here. This is called half moon. I love me some half moon. We're gonna teeter-totter backwards and end up in a reverse warrior. Good, let's promote some more twisting and digestion of um, function movement health by um, cartwheeling the hands with the right hand comes down, ending up in your revolved angle. Breathe. Push the back leg straight. 
Take the front leg and step into side plank. If that's too hard, then what you want to do is you want to drop the knee down first, then move it to gate. You can stay at gate, or you can get to gate and then put your feet wherever they are, want to be for side plank. Exhale, let's repeat. Inhale, remember we're going to softly pop up into that garland. Woo! Nicely done. As we come up, we're going to go to star. And we're going to go ahead right here and do another inverted pose. Wide-legged, forward fold, hands in the air, breathe. I think that feels good. Bend the knees, slowly come up, heel toe it together. Stretch and reach. Exhale, back, left leg goes back. This time for your um, crescent moon. Heel is off the floor. Nice deep lunge, as deep as you can. Okay, a lot, a lot of stuff in front of me, and you can probably see, but I'll try not to fall over it. Pop forward. This is your three point balance. You can stay here, don't worry about it. Or if you want to bring the left hand up and then you try to really open the chest and the hip up to that same wall that your palm is facing. Breathe. Okay, tip backwards for your reverse warrior. And then cartwheel the arms through so that you end up in that revolved angle. Straighten that back leg as much as you can. Breathe. Either gently set the knee down, come to gate and stay, or move to side plank. Or just like I showed you before, step right back into that side plank. Breathe. Pop those hips up. Exhale. Slowly lower to the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Come into that cobra. So thighs are down purposely here. We're not in up down. We're in cobra. Thighs are down. And I'm relaxed here. Did you see that? Well, I'll show you again. So look at me right now. My shoulders are relaxed. Now. Purposely pull those shoulders back. And now that's what you want. Feel how much more it expands the chest. Exhale, child's pose. Breathe. Good. Crossing your feet and then sitting down. We're moving on. Supported fish pose. This is the fourth pose in our series today. So I think I showed you supported fish last time. Um, the Sanskrit name is Matisse. Mati Sas, wait, wait a minute. Mati Sasana, there we go. Supportive fish pose. Let me show you and then I'll tell you what it does. Elbows go back. And basically you can be right here or you can drop your head back, okay? But if you want to get a little bit more out of it, purposely pop your belly forward, then your head back. So that's level two. Level three, you bring your head on the floor. Same right there. Level four, arms come up, legs come up. So hold that and breathe. As you guys work on that, a couple more breaths. The fish pose can boost energy when you're feeling run down. This pose also opens the throat and the lungs, allowing congestion and mucus to break up. And exhale, come down. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and do boat pose from here. Rock it back. This is level one, level two, level three, level four. Do your level. Breathe and notice. Woo. Good job. Slowly lower the legs. Stretch up nice and tall. Forward fold. Breathe. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to do another fish. We're going to be in it as long. Inhale, exhale, fish. Whatever version you like. Breathe. Exhale, come up. Nicely done. Wide legged forward fold. Stretch up nice and tall, forward fold here. So we we're actually doing the forward fold in two ways because we did them standing and now we're doing them seated. Coming up through, tucking the right shoulder under and around. Let's do a little bit of core. So all we're going to do is four circles. We're going to turn our body to our right leg and stay low. We're going to circle to the left leg and then bring it up. So if you really focus, do about four of them. Inhaling down, exhaling up. I think I have one more. Sometimes you know me, I can't teach in count like this. It's just too much for my brain at once. 
tuck it and go the other way. Um, do you really paying attention to what you're doing here? You should be able to feel this in your obliques, in your lower abs, in your back. Turn to the left leg. Ready? Four times. We sweep down and low and then come up. Good. Love it, love it. And one more. Nicely done. Okay, let's see. Let's go to bridge pose. So I'm going to lower myself down, bring my heels close to my hand, pop my hips up, squeeze the booty. Yes, interlace your fingers. Pull your hands towards your feet. Okay, you can stay right here. Let's add on though if you're ready. We're gonna pick up our right leg so that the shin is parallel to the ceiling for a second, okay? And you're really gonna drive your knee closer to your shoulder if you can. Then lengthen it. Coming up on the left toes, off the left heel. Bring it down, okay, pop it up. Bring it down, pop it up, squeeze one more. Oh, Ooh, bring it down. Exhale, I'll do the other side in a second. Let's go ahead to TikTok. So, actually, did I tell you that I learned that some yogis call this one alligator twist? So that's fun, alligator twist. So let's pretend, I'm gonna change it, even though they didn't say to do this. Whenever I get learn something new, it always inspires me to do something else. Taking the right leg over, left leg stays up, and then the left leg meets, left leg up, and right leg up. Now let's go left leg first, left leg over. Right leg, your knees can be bent if this is hard. Right leg, left leg. So the true alligator twist is what we've always done, which I call TikToks, but I think this is kind of fun. This more reminds me of an alligator because its mouth is chomping. Ready? Alligator twist the Jessica Janowski way. Right leg, left leg. Hold it, feel this. Ooh, love it. Left leg, right leg. While we're here, Come up and try to reach your toes. Just notice what that does. Breathe. Exhale down. Arms go out. Left leg. Right leg. Hover. Don't let them touch the floor. Up. Up one more time. Stretch your reach now. In case you didn't notice, we're working those abs and we're compressing that digestive system, those organs. And so that's going to promote digestion. Okay. Knees come in. We're gonna let the legs go out and the hands go back, but we're not gonna let our legs drop or, or our feet touch, and if you can help it, okay? And then scoop it in, scoop it in. And out. Whoops. And in. And out. I'm touching stuff, it's bothering me. In. And out. And rest. <sighs> okay, we're gonna jackknife back to boat pose. So, if you need to put your elbows down first and bring yourself up, that's fine. If you're ready, you're going to elongate. So, you're purposely growing tall. Fingers out. Feet pointed. You're growing tall. Exhale. <sighs> Boat pose. Breathe. Isn't that awesome? Good job, you guys. Pigeon. Okay, so I like to start in a plank and then in a downward facing dog. I'm just gonna to come to the side. Right leg high in the air. Pull it through, let it rest on the mat. Adjust your, here comes cabbage. Adjust yourself to get more of a 90 degree. If you're able to do that, keep this leg as straight as possible and going forward. If your head doesn't make the floor, it's okay. You can stack your fists up. Breathe, we're gonna be here a while. My mantra and all my poses that are Hard for me is I can get through difficult situations. And next exhale, hands come down, chest comes up, open the chest, open the throat, throat. Kick that back leg behind you, point and flex your foot. This feels good to me, I don't know about you. Little circles. Good, bring that down. Let's prepare for the other side. So, hit a, hit a down dog, lengthen. Hit a plank. Oh, that's wrong, hit a down dog. <laughs> then, left leg high in the air. Pull it through. Okay, get ready to adjust yourself as needed. Bring yourself forward and breathe several breaths. 
just noticing that hip ex opening and trying to be more cooperative with your flexibility there. into a 30 minute class is too much for me. And you know what, I have, I have my own limitations which I'm very well aware of, so I'm just doing what I can do. So, um, Viparita Karani, legs up the wall. I don't have a wall with me, so I'm just gonna use a chair. But you really wanna get your high knee as close as you can to whatever surface. And you bring your legs on the wall, so if they're on the wall, they're here. It's probably better for you, but I'm just gonna use the chair. It'll be fine, no judgment. So how this promotes um, immune boosting. Legs up the wall or chair is one of the most relaxing yoga poses for your whole body. Your whole body just kind of gets to, oh. So other than Shavasana, final relaxation. This is another one you could choose to do. And some actually, some of the people that come to my classes will do this one once in a great while instead of um, Shavasana. Or I have one lady, she does, she likes to be in child's pose a lot when a lot of other people are in um, Shavasana. And you know what, it's your practice. Do your practice. Mm -hmm. All right. This pose allows your lymph drainage, blood circulation, and it even um, releases pressure from your lower back. It helps you feel grounded. So can you feel all the parts on your body that are touching the floor? And the floor is like supporting you. I love that feeling. Your nervous system can completely relax and reset. The other thing about um, making time to relax, you guys, is that balance in life. So in yoga, um, you know, it's the yin and yang. And so there's that always that balance of active and restorative or relaxation. There should be a balance of work and play life. There should be a balance of being social and being with people and time alone. So right now we're kind of on that side where we have a lot more either time alone or time with just people of our immediate family and not so much with the other people we like to socialize with. But I feel like technology, even though it drives me crazy, is giving us a way to stay connected. So I'm thankful for that. Um, so a couple more just deep breaths and then we'll end with a very short meditation. <sighs> I just need a couple more breaths here. Let your belly fill with air. Just really let yourself relax. It's amazing. When you're ready, you can stay right here because you don't have to move. Or I'm going to move myself into this first pose, the seated um, pose, so that I can guide you through some breaths and a little bit of a focus. And as always, when you hear the final chime, you'll know that this session is over. So we'll start with deep breath in. Imagine that breath is just going through every part of your body, healing it and making it strong so that you can take on whatever challenges come your way and exhaling. Sending out the positive vibes you've gotten from class to your household, to other people that might need it, inhaling. Your heart really 
is like our emotional centerpiece. It, it helps us connect with other people. It helps us know ourselves better. And your breath is that force, that, that energy that allows you to do what your heart wants to do. So the two together, I think, are just like a beautiful system. Thinking about what does your heart beat for? And how can you use this time, even though you might be in isolation, how can you use this time to prepare so that when you're able to get out of quarantine, to go for what you want to go for, to make your heart sing and be happy and do the things that you know are meant for you to do. And without further ado, put our hands together. May I know my truth. May I see my truth. May I speak my truth. And may I feel my truth. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Sorry I had about that three or four minute hiccup there, but it's just about exactly 30 minutes. I appreciate you and I can't wait to read your comments on the other side. Love you and I'm going to keep posting um, pre-recorded stuff too so that you can have that stuff as well. Love you guys. Thank you for joining me.